The Hotsunohotsun is the only species in the order Epistocomiforms. It is a species of tropical bird found in swamps, riparian forests, and mangroves of the Amazon and the Orinoco basins in South America. It is notable for having chicks that have claws on two of their wing digits. The Hotsun is such a bizarre and unique bird that it almost has to be seen to be believed. Fortunately, seeing the Hotsun is not difficult, as it is widespread in the lowlands of northern and central South America, and is fairly common throughout much of this region. Hotsuns live in trees and shrubs along the margins of lakes and slow-moving rivers. They often sit in groups in the open, although when disturbed they typically retreat into denser cover. They move awkwardly, however, and so give themselves away with sounds of crashing through the vegetation, accompanied by loud vocalizations. Hotsuns in effect are flying cows, their diet primarily is young leaves and buds, which are digested in the crop with the aid of bacteria and microbes. Hotsuns nest over the water. The young can swim, and so may drop to the water when threatened. The nestlings retain claws on their wing, lost in the adult, which they use in climbing back to the nest. The appearance of the Hotsun is no less distinctive than their natural history, with their long, loose crest, bright blue facial skin, and red eye. For decades ornithologists have debated the relationships of this unique South American bird, at various times the Hotsun has been thought to be related to Galliforms, Chrysids and relatives, or to Cuculiforms, Cuckoos and relatives, but to date the Hotsun has defied easy classification. Large, dumpy bird found around lake edges and slow-moving streams. Head looks too small for its large brown body. Its orange mohawk, blue facial skin, and stubby bill make this bird extremely distinctive. Usually found in groups or pairs. Moves clumsily around waterside vegetation, making loud, huffing noises. Adult hoatsins are approximately 24 to 26 inches in length. They have blue skin covering their faces and their eyes are red. The outer feathers are primarily chestnut brown and the long tail is bronze green and ends in a white band. The heads of Hotsons are topped with a crest of reddish-brown feathers. The young are born without feathers but develop a layer of black down shortly after birth. A distinguishing feature of young Hotsons are the pair of functional wing claws which are found on the ends of their wings on the first and second fingers. This feature is lost when the bird matures into an adult Epistocomus Hosen do not begin breeding until after their first year of life. The breeding season of Hosen occurs during the same time as the rainy season of their territory. Hotsons build their nests on branches over the water about 6 to 15 feet above the surface. They normally lay 2 to 3 eggs and the incubation period lasts 32 days. Both male and female brood the young, which typically remain in the nest for 2 to 3 weeks after they hatch. Hotsons are very territorial, especially during the breeding season. Hotsons seek a territory near water over which they can build their nests. Ideal locations can be scarce, so when a breeding pair establishes their territory, both the male and female actively defend it. A breeding pair will inform others of their territorial boundaries by displays of ritual copulations, loud noises and aggressive postures. Because waterside territory can be scarce, young Hotsons often live in their parents' territory for a couple of years after they hatch. During this time they act as helpers to their parents by assisting with the care of new brood and by helping to defend the territory. Because oh, Hosen have enlarged crops, they are clumsy flyers and it may take young Hotsons up to 70 days before they can fly at all. Because of this, young Hotsons have developed an unusual way of fleeing predators which include monkeys, hawks and snakes. When predators approach, young Hotsons can use their wing claws to climb on the limbs of trees and out of the predator's reach. If escape is not possible in the trees, the young birds will drop into the water below the nest and swim beneath the surface until they reach safety. Hotsons are primarily folivores. Although they typically feed on less than 12 species of plants, they are capable of eating the leaves of more than 50 different species. The leaves of tropical legume plants are an example of a leaf that Hotsons commonly feed on. Other foods that are sometimes included in the diet of Hotsons include some flowers and fruits. Apistocomus Hotsons have developed a special system that allows them to feed on leaves. 
day, have an enlarged crop in which symbiotic bacteria are stored and used to break down the cell walls of the leaves, allowing for them to be digested. This process is called foregut fermentation and dough. Hosen are the only birds with this type of digestive system. The bacteria within the crop also act as a source of nutrients for Hodsons by occasionally getting moved into their stomachs. The bacteria are introduced to young Hodsons when an adult regurgitates a sticky substance containing large amounts of the bacteria and feeds it to the young. This species has an extremely large range, and hence does not approach the thresholds for vulnerable under the range size criterion, extent of occurrence 20,000 square kilometers combined with a declining or fluctuating range size, habitat extent quality, or, population size and a small number of locations or severe fragmentation. Despite the fact that the population trend appears to be decreasing, the decline is not believed to be sufficiently rapid to approach the thresholds for vulnerable under the population trend criterion, 30% decline over 10 years or 3 generations. The population size has not been quantified, but it is not believed to approach the thresholds for vulnerable under the population size criterion. 10,000 mature individuals with a continuing decline estimated to be 10% in 10 years or 3 generations, all with a specified population structure. For these reasons the species is evaluated as least concerned.